watching Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Only on Shade 45. Y'all better tune in or these guys is coming at you. Turn it up. Sway in the morning, Shade 45. You know, there's some people have to be that you watch throughout your life and find them to be extremely interesting. And they do things that are so cool that you hope to one day meet them. And, you know, one of the most essential parts of life that you can't live without is eating. Yeah. You know, and, and health, of course. And one of the people who have um, mastered the art of pre presentation when it comes to food and, um, and health uh, marketing, branding, uh, as you will. He's a pioneer at it when it comes to celebrity chefs. Uh, he has a new book, Essential Emerald, Favorite Recipes and Hard Won Wisdom from My Life in the Kitchen. I can't believe he's actually on our show right I know, now. I'm dying. Yeah, the one and only Emerald Lagasse is here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Godfather. Thank, thank you. Welcome to the show. I feel like I made it having you sit down in this chair right here, man. Um, I'm delighted to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. You have this new book, right? This is uh, Hot Off the Press Today. Mm. Hot Off the Press um, Today. Essential Emerald. Uh -huh. So this is like um, as close to a memoir as that you're going to get. Because it's, it's not a memoir, but it's really it's sort of a journey for me. The past maybe 30 years of people, places, dishes, travel, Childhood memories, mom, yeah, uh, family uh, of my favorite recipes. Wow! So not everybody's in the book. Uh huh. Can't get everybody in there. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Can't get all the dishes in there. Can't get all the people in there. But um, I dedicated the book to uh, my late friend Charlie Trotter, mm -hmm. uh, who passed last year. Very young, too. Very young. Very talented chef. But you know, here's the thing: you're gonna have anything from a double cheeseburger with chili yeah that's mm. an influence of new orleans mm -hmm. to my barbecue shrimp which i created Oof. over 25 years ago wow. for, for emeralds mm -hmm. yeah uh banana cream pie with banana crust and caramel i love it oh, man. i could keep going on and on but we're right. gonna start drooling here we're gonna have we to, yeah, got some 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 drool towels yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but, 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 so, so let me ask you emerald first of all what so you what what were you brought up well, I, I, I grew up in a little town in Massachusetts called Fall River. Uh -huh. So there are awesome influences there that in uh, places. Uh, and then uh, I went I went to school in Providence, and then I started traveling. And in 1982, I moved to New Orleans. Okay. And I've been there ever since. Ever since. And um, it's certainly home. And um, my, my restaurant... Is my restaurants? Are, I have three restaurants there. Mm -hmm. uh, home base, what I call home base, is there, which I don't like the word corporate, so mm -hmm. I, you know, corporate office. But so that's there with the test kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. And then, um, you know, we're in Las Vegas and, yeah. and Orlando and Pennsylvania, and uh, wow. just cooking up a storm. Cooking up a storm. You you are accredited for being one of the being the pioneering celebrity chef, mm -hmm. if you will. How did that happen? Like, how did you become a celebrity chef? I, I, I don't really kind of... Buy into that? Or? Buy into that yeah, and yeah. think about that. That's yeah. not, you know, kind of me. But I I started doing... I, I started the Food Network mm -hmm. um, 20... Almost 21 years ago now. And I had a show and it was terrible and I got fired. And then I had another show and I think it was terrible and got fired and then finally um the guy that started the network a guy by the name of Reese Seanfield called me and said come to New York and I want to talk to you because we think you're a great chef and a great teacher but you know if you could figure out how to do tv you might be you know you might be you might be kind of good at this thing yeah because you're a great teacher and so that's when um the the start of essence of emerald mm. started mm -hmm. And for me, it wasn't a stretch because it was like really who I was. It was, you know, essence of Emerald. It was my education, my training, et cetera. And so my once I figured it out um, a couple of seasons and really made the connection mm -hmm. with people, then it was really just about teaching people to cook and mm -hmm. not intimidate them about cooking, but really trying to take the intimidation so that people would feel comfortable cooking at home. Yeah. And also educated about what a mushroom was and how to shop for a mushroom or, 
you know what what a what a piece of veal loin looked like and how you should cook it and ways that you can cook it. Mm -hmm. And so that was my that was my approach uh, along the way. And then and then started Emerald Live and I I I had a music background growing up, so yeah. I was a percussionist and I turned down a scholarship to music school to to pay to go to cooking school. And so that's where the connection, like music, was always in my head. So that's where the connection, where where the band came in. And, okay. You know, in the beginning of Emerald Live, there was just a very simple, you know, couple yeah. guys, and then then it started with you know with Doc and you know a lot of musicians that then wanted to come on the show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to just kind of because they were into food, you know. Right. So um, there was a connection there, and, and that's how it happened. We had a lot of fun. This is what I want to do. Um, because I noticed when we were playing a little Dicky song, Save That Money, you were doing a little percussion thing over there. <laughs> I noticed you were hitting I, I saw that. Um, I want to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. And, I, and, and, and I'm glad I have this book because you're a great teacher and anyone can learn how to cook from these recipes. And also, Heather B. have prepared a surprise for you. Ooh. We're going to come back and share with you what that is, okay? All right. All right. Uh, man, Sway in the morning. Emerald Lagasse is here. Give us a call. Shave 4-5. Saying. Emerald Lagasse has joined us. This is new book, Essential Emerald, uh, Favorite Recipes and Heart One Wisdom from My Life in the Kitchen. And this is my book he's going to autograph. 888 um, <laughs> We got Mac from Brooklyn on the line. Mac, what good up, morning. Mac, How you doing? Daddy. Hey, Mac! Uh, Mac has just uh, l uh, left the phone. Uh, oh. Justin and Phoenix. Good morning, Justin. Justin. Something. Wait, hold on. The phone lines are bugging out here. Can hold I ask up. a question? Yeah, go for it. You know what, Emerald? I always wanted to know, when was the first time you said the legendary BAM? Okay. So, <laughs> in the beginning of Essence of Emerald, uh -huh. because of my restaurant schedule, um, we were shooting eight shows a day. Mm. Oh, wow. That's, like, that's, like, you, that's you, ridiculous. How many right, hours right? is that? Yeah. I mean, that's like a full day, but eight shows a day, it's unheard of. Nobody nobody shoots eight shows a day. Half hour shows, right? Oof. So um, we, I would cook a show, and then um, we'd have a holding table for the food, mm -hmm. cook another show, have a holding table mm -hmm. for the food. Maybe three, four shows, maybe sometimes five shows, depending on the day. Then the crew, they... Now we're going to break for lunch. They want to eat. So we would heat up what we did from the holding table, et cetera, et cetera, right. et cetera. The crew would all eat. Everybody's happy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yum. Mm. <laughs> Tummy's nice and full. Mm -hmm. So now we go back to work <laughs> and start working. And I've got to stay motivated because I've got to connect with, you know, at home and the cameras. Mm -hmm. But yet the crew is like, they're doing this. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. So BAM came from waking everybody up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, he just woke up. me up right there yeah. when he did that. <laughs> wake up, Mo. <laughs> well, right there. We got Daniel on the line from San Antonio. Daniel, you hey, there? Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Here, I all the soldier and uh, my son. Worked for one of your restaurants in Vegas, man, Isaiah Houston. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so I, I just want to give a shout-out to you, Amber. I want to ask a question, though. Uh, so what made you get into cooking to begin with? Well, you know, it was just one of those things that I, I, I played music and, and I cooked uh, in some area restaurants. And then uh, and then all of a sudden, um, the cooking thing started happening a lot more than the music thing. And then when I, uh, I told my folks that I was going to uh, not go to music school and and pay to go to cooking school they were devastated but mm -hmm. um it's just one of those things that you know i did it and i liked it and i did it liked it and then one day i got up and said boy you know i i, I really love this this yeah. is like really this is me uh you know there's a connection with people there's a connection at the table there's yeah. a connection you know food is like a, a magical really a magical thing Absolutely. like music is it's a love song it's a yeah. love song i like that uh, we have um, Ryan in South Carolina on the line. Ryan, good morning. What Ryan. up, Ryan? Emerald Lagasse is hey, here. Hey, what's, what's up, Sway? What's up, Emerald Lagasse? Hey, how are you? <laughs> what you thinking oh, yeah. about eating today? Well, nah, shit. I just ate a bunch of food from the commissary. I'm in the Marine Corps, and uh, okay. I just got, I'm on leave and stuff, but I grew up cooking, and I grew up listening to, bam, Emerald, Emerald Lagasse, you know. And um, awesome. I really want to ask him, like, what's your favorite knife? Growing up cooking, I went down to New Orleans. I couldn't really afford all that like food going to his restaurant, but I understand. Oh, come on, like, but, uh, don't, you, don't you don't you think New Orleans is like one of those magical cities though for food? Where dollar for dollar, I think I think people eat pretty well there. Absolutely, 
I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. because it's things like, you know, like in the book, there's things like red beans and rice, yes. which are like ugh, smoking good. Mm -hmm. um, Cocktails is in the book. <laughs> yeah, the, the mm, smoking tacos. good. Oh, my gosh. Mm, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Anyhow, you, you, you got to check out this this new book, Essential Emerald, if you can. Yeah. And the recipes, the thing about the, the book that I love, too, uh, it, it's simple. Like, you can, even if you're not a chef, so to speak, it, the recipes are so simple and very easy to follow. It's like you're listening to Emerald in your kitchen. Yeah, That's you, what I like You're not going to have 62 ingredients. That yeah. Thing, yeah. stuff cr makes me crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I want people to cook, and so I want to, I, I want to, I, I don't want to intimidate people, and, and hopefully we can, we'll get you in the, in the kitchen as well. Okay, you know, um, Heather B., Emerald um, actually tries out a lot of your recipes, and you know she didn't she didn't know she would be able to do this. I said go for it. Emerald's a good guy. She prepares something especially for you, mm. which I get the benefit from. Me yes. too. Okay, and we were hoping that maybe if you don't mind, we could do a taste test <laughs> right here live. It's right All over right. there. What did you uh, prepare? Okay, it's not one of your recipes. This is straight from the home hood kitchen okay. in my house. Okay, but what but I you did, made you cooked this. I made this. Yeah, I made this, and it's a um a whole. Fried snapper, yep. uh, Caribbean flavored snapper, yep. with rice and peas. Um, Smells dynamite. Thank you. With rice and peas and um, a little special seasoning I created that I marinated the uh, the fish Ooh, in. Okay. And um, yeah, it's just and I did it with a jasmine rice. Okay. Wait, 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 hold up. Before you say goodbye, I want to Snapchat. Snap this. that. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, Tracy. That's get that. Get that. I got you, get brother. That. There you go. I know you didn't get a piece of fish, but okay. if, if okay. you got to, I'm gonna get it. Okay. okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Mm. Okay, Emerald took the first bite of Harold, uh, he Heather's um, snapper. And what do you think? Let me tell you, it's really good. Woo! Whoa! Really good. Wow. wow. Just in time for the snaps. <laughs> Is it good, really? Emerald, you could tell you her can, the truth. You We're can tell me here. the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm a big girl. Right, I think, bring it this way. Bring it this way if you're done. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think your lime is perfect. It's not overpowering. Wow. I love your peas and rice. I'm a big peas and rice kind of me person. Too. Love that. I kind of like that. Starch on starch kind of thing. That's it. <laughs> you want to try it again? Or, uh, <laughs> can go you ahead, bro. Can you have me, uh, get, have me a fork? Oh, fork. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Wow. All Thank right. you right. so much. So, I did. I, I, I tried to season it with. with it's where, amazing. Where that are you, you getting all those snapper? Um, <laughs> the I, the local fish market by oh, my right. house. <laughs> I love it. The local I, fish market by my house. I don't know who you are out there, fish market, but keep bringing it in. <laughs> yeah, it we is good. That. Isn't that I, good? I concur, right. Emro. Um, also, <laughs> like um, the pepper that you used on I it. Um, I did. I use. I use. In a, the, what's in the spice mix? I use the. Um, I use a Scotch bonnet. I use scallion, mm. cilantro. Um, Are you married? Yeah, mm. I am married. <laughs> okay. Makes sense, right? Um, <laughs> he's happy. He's a happy man. Yeah, I like that. Yep, he's a happy man. Yeah, Scotch bonnet. Uh, but it's not overpowering. Mm. Yeah, there's a nice balance to it. Well, I added a little sugar in my okay. um in my but you know not to give it that extra. I don't kick. think it's spicy. Do you? No, no, no. I think I, it's, I think it, it's and I right on. I don't like extreme spicy too much because I like to. Um, no, it's, it, it interferes with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The, 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 the actual meat, but you know, I'm no emerald, but from my hood perspective, <laughs> great and job. I, and that's what I wanted to ask you though, too, um, Emerald. Just really quick, what's the difference um, between frying and maybe a vegetable oil and canola? I tend to use canola more. I just Me like too. it. I, I think it's a little lighter and does it make it It's heavy? a little lighter. It's cleaner. Okay. It's not as, uh, I think vegetable uh, tends to get a little heavy. Heavy. Right? So I'm a big canola person too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what you got to do is if you flip over here. Mm -hmm. He's going through his book? Yeah. Since you, since Assess you know, Essential so, Emerald. So I got to just, I'm sorry. Favorite recipes and okay. hard one so wisdom set up all, okay. from my life in the kitchen. And here you go. So see all the technique that yeah. I'm, I'm showing yeah. here, right about that? Okay, so here Ooh, we go. That? Okay, showing Heather some secrets of the trade. I know. I, I, while, while, while he's doing, no, no, you can't. Um, <laughs> Emerald, while you're doing that, I want to thank yeah. you for coming by. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right. I'm and sorry, um, how, if, how can people reach you on your Wait, social you media? you see that? The praline and oh, Wait, cayenne. Turn, turn to page 45 for a quick second. This praline cayenne bacon will make you oh. crazy. <laughs> Make you crazy, I'm telling you right now. Wow. Make Ooh, you crazy. crazy. This is what you need to make for your husband. Um, the crab and corn Remember fritters. That them. sounds yeah. Yeah, amazing. Yep. I'm going to try it. All right. I'm well, going to try it, I promise. Thanks for having me. Thank uh, you. Absolutely, man. Thank Emerald Lagasse, man. He's a citizen. A sway in the morning. All right. It's sway in the morning. Only on J45.
Kilo.